Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So last week we did a tutorial on Winnie the Pooh and I decided since Christopher Robin is being released in a couple of weeks, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do a tutorial on the Winnie the Pooh characters. So we did Winnie the Pooh. Let's go ahead and do T-I-double-G-E-R Tigger. I'd like to do first is go ahead and roughly place his body. So we're going to start with his head which is just going to be an easy circle after the circle I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out his face and we're just gonna round it back into his head after that I'm gonna bring down his neck and start to go outwards with his body so we're gonna go out so we go from his from his neck outwards with the body, then underneath his chin, we're going to bring down this other part of his body. So bring out this side, and then you're going to go out, and you're going to curve right back in. Now you're going to go ahead and let's do his arms. So let's start with this arm right here. So from the crook of the neck, we're going to go out and curve down. So we go out. He's a really rounded kind of guy. He doesn't have much many angles going on. So everything's really rounded and curvy. So we're going to go down and then we're going to make a thumb. Then we're going to go in and back into his body. So we're going to go out, right back in. So his thumb's going inwards and this will go into his hand. And that goes down like this. Then his other arm. Make his arm a little bit thicker up here. little bit more inwards down here. There we go. That's much better. And the other arm's going to go down and then out this way. And I'm going to jump back inside right here. Make the other side of his arm. And then we'll have a little bit of the crook of his elbow. And out. Round back in. So this goes in like that, all rounded. And then his thumb will be going outwards like this. And then his legs are going to go out this way. Round. And then his, we're going to go ahead and round off the bottom of his stomach. Just round that off. Bring down this side. We're going to make a circle right here. So after this rounded part down here, I'm going to jump down here, round off this part of his leg. And this part goes down and this part will go outwards with a circle. So let's fill in a couple more details to his face. Let's round up this way. Go round up this way on top of his head, on top of his snout right here. You're going to round it up and back in. And then I'm going to bring back this part. Go out this way. And then bring down his head. Go towards his mouth again. And then I'm going to go out and in. Then I'm going to jump right here to this part and I'm going to go up, curve it in, and then curve it this way. So we still have a space. You see the space we have right here. So we curve it that way. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round off this top, round down his nose all the way to where we made that original space. So we're still keeping this section up here. It's just going into his nose. I'm going to round his nose a little bit more down this way. 
and then from out this way I'm gonna bring in this part so I go underneath his little nose right here bring up his mouth go all the way up to right here with his mouth so you're gonna go all the way to the top and connect so we still have this little bit of a divot right here and then I'm gonna go underneath this part of his mouth you're gonna go out around it and back into that section I just told you to go ahead and do like this whole area and then I'm gonna jump back over here where we made this little section I'm gonna go in just a little bit and go up into his smile so we have his open mouth after that you're just gonna jump in here and you're gonna make a little pupil here and a little pupil here same exact size and you're just gonna make like his little eyelids for eyelid here eyelid here and he has big eyebrows on top so we're gonna start right in the middle right in the middle here and they're gonna have another one going out this way so this one's gonna go down off to the side and this one's gonna go up and down and out and it has just a little bit of a tail it goes into that section of his eyes for his ear you're just going to go ahead and curve it this way make a little line right there now let's jump to his arm and shape up his arm just a little bit more I'm gonna make his arm just a little thicker it's just bothering me so let's start with stripes. We'll start from his face and then his arm. For his stripes on top of his head, we have a stripe going down. And it goes back up into his head. I'm not gonna fill these in because I'm gonna ink it at the end and, I'll sh and you'll get to see what parts of his face and everything is black. And then we have three stripes coming up from this section. So I'm gonna make one, two, and three so there's three stripes there he's got two little stitches on his nose one stitch here and one stitch here and then from his nose we have a whisker another whisker and another whisker and then right here as well we can go ahead and make those whiskers this one goes up this one goes up and this one goes up. So we have three little whiskers on each side of his face. Now from his neck, we have a little bit of a little stripe here. So it goes out and then out back into his neck. Now from his arm right here, we're going to go up and down. And we have a little bit of a stripe right here. We're going to go up. And we have another one and another one you see they're not all like just like stripes like little stripes across they have a little bit of a pattern where they have like little spikies on the end which is interesting about Tigger I'm gonna start this his chest and go ahead around this down so it's towards his neck and you're gonna round it and go right back down And I'm just gonna draw through his arm for right now so I know that it's nice and even. Make it skinny at the bottom, and then it's just gonna go up. So that's his belly. I'll go ahead and erase that part. Let's even out this arm a little bit more. So this one should be a little bit more fat. And I'm gonna make this a little bit more fat as well. So if I get rid of these two lines right here, there's our arm and it looks much neater and a little bit more proportionate and his hand is still going outward so this one's going out and then we see the palm of his hand so from his thumb that's going outward 
this one's going to go ahead and curve in and curve this way and into the palm that signifies the palm of his hand and this is actually only going to go to the thumb right about here so we can erase these lines Now for the stripes on Tigger right here, we have a stripe going into his belly. We have another stripe on his neck. We have another stripe going this way. Another stripe right here. We have a stripe on his shoulder. We have a stripe going across right here. And then a stripe right there. And he's got a couple of stitches on his belly, so one stitch here, another stitch here, another stitch, and another stitch right here. Now for this leg, it's going to go out and curve in, and then we have a paw pad. And this is going to go in, so this part can go away. So this goes in, and it remains flat there. And we have a stripe, a stripe, and then a stripe at his ankle. And then down here, we can get rid of this part, that round part we made at the beginning. We have a stripe here. We have a stripe here, and a stripe at his ankle. And I'm just going to make his foot a little rounder down here by bringing out his heel a little bit more. Most importantly, he has a tail, of course. So I'm gonna start with his tail off to the side. It's going to go out this way. So we're gonna make one side for right now. And it's, then it's, boxy it off at the bottom and then I'm going to jump back off to the sides this is how thick we want to make it and we're going to go down I'm just going to draw through his foot and try to keep mirroring the other side so I'm going to make a stripe here stripe here stripe here stripe here, 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 and then at the end, a stripe. Alright, I'm going to ink this and color it. That way you guys can take more of a look at what Tigger looks like with his stripes and his colors on.